te kau mā toru, te pakeke o tō mātou kōhanga. I kite koutou tēnei te maiti? Aye, ko we. Ko hau tērā, i te wā he te maiti au ki te kōhanga reo ki roto kaua. We started in 1984. I had uh, my oldest daughter, Tia. She was just four. When we started as a group of mothers, we knew nothing. There, there, was, there was no structure. We just said, right, we want the reo for our children. Um, the old play group said we could have all their resources, which weren't much at all. I kite koutou tēnei wahine? Ko tēnei a nēni pōmare. Ko ia te mama o nēni lia. Ko ia te tahi o ngā kaya ko tua tahi hoki o te kōhanga. My sister and I both attended. I have a lot of happy memories. We were in the old school hall. We had blocks of firewood. We had pots and pans. 14 years down the track, as an 18-year-old, I came back here to work in 2002. I did go and do a primary school teaching degree. It's been a wonderful path for the two girls. The other daughter, Juana, you know, when she finished one degree, then she did another degree, then she did another degree. So I have three tamariki, um, nine, seven, and my youngest, Pepe, is one, and here at Kohanga Reo. Our kohanga has employed a, a type of leadership model that's an intergenerational form of distributed leadership. The seven whenu were originally published by the Ministry of Education and we've taken those and run with them. I am the kanohi matara, the visionary, the innovative person and that takes on board those roles and discusses with, with the team about new ideas. Mia ha tātou. Hei, hei tautoku ia rātou. Ka ha rātou ki te kōrero Māori ki ngā tamariki, ngā wā katoa. The kaitiaki or guardian is, I found, looking after the parents, but not only that, is to keeping the whānau safe. And I mean, not only physically, I meant our wairua, our spiritual side. Another role I fulfilled was that of the kai ko tui tui, like a networker. You think, well, who could help me with this particular taki or kaupapa, this issue? Pehea ka tipu pai we nei hua whenua. Me whāngai te aha ki ngā, ngā tipu. I have three roles, kaiako, and that role is about teaching and learning. Te wai. He wai, ka pai. Kaimahi, which is leading by doing. Te rā. Te rā, ka pai. Te rā. And my last leadership role is kaifakarite, the manager of people and environments. Te uwa. Te uwa, ai. So my other role as the kai arataki is, is around strategic planning and I spend a lot of time with the whānau thinking about where it is we are at and where we want to head. Nā rā rā. Māku e nei kōrero e whakahoki atu ki te whānau, hei te rā hui, hei te hui whānau e ki mai, um, mi te whakamārama, mi te kōrero. Ka pai. Ka pai. The structures that we have put in place in terms of knowledge, in terms of whānau, in terms of leadership and where we are and where we need to be, they are solid and it's about sharing that knowledge so that the next generation that come in also have that knowledge. They value us sharing as well how we think things should be done, all the decisions that should be made. This reflects the reciprocal nature of kōhanga reo. Aroha mai, aroha atu. And through the years, taking on different responsibilities, given different opportunities to act up and, and be in charge of different roles and activities. Into this year, being, being a chairman, for me that's intergenerational leadership that just naturally occurs in kōhanga. We are lucky that our kohanga is situated nearby Pakirangi Marae to have our kuia kaumātua there. This lady over here, that's Te Muru. That's my grandmother and that's your great-great-grandmother. Her and Koro Bill, they were the ones who built this meeting here. Ko whakapai nā kai, ko ramaroa nā mai nā, ko te hekutu me te hapuna, the intergenerational aspect of our leadership goes beyond just a family. It connects us as a kohanga. So although we may not be related by blood, it's that whānau aspect that joins us together. That's how we're able to press forward together as a whānau because we have the same goal in mind. <laughs> Ko 
可，天哪，太太，天哪，太太，快！